Hi there, it's Lachlan from Cisco Meraki here, and today I'm gonna to walk you through what is Meraki and how does it work? As you can see on the bottom right there, there's my work email and also a link to my LinkedIn. I'll share those in the description below. So feel free to hit me up if you'd like some more information or just a general chat. So what is Meraki? Meraki is secure, simple cloud managed networking. And what that means is Meraki is primarily aimed at solving for business pain points. Businesses who want to have a robust backbone their network is a platform that they can build technologies on, but it's not something they wanna be bogged down in managing. And that's why by design, Meraki is simple. It's secure to enable uh, massive amounts of data to be transmitted via the network in a way that's not only safe for users, but secure in that it encrypts everything to ensure that there is no ability for unwarranted access to be granted to that data. And on top of that as well, it's cloud managed. And what that means is we've decoupled the control plane from the actual logic plane. And in doing that, it enables things like remote troubleshooting. So if you've got multiple sites that are quite geographically dispersed, we can manage them really easily. If you've got a lean IT team, you can have the output of say a 10 person IT team with only two people actually monitoring and managing the network. And that's where Meraki really plays in the industry. Now to understand Meraki and how that fits into the piece, it's good to understand the evolution of networks. So over time, as networks have grown, they traditionally started out like this. There were branch offices, which were then connect via high performance, expensive MPLS connections through to a head office. And then off the back of that, they would connect through to the internet. For the longest time, this was the best we could do. Quite fundamentally as well, these connections were very, very high quality, very, very high performance, but they did come at a cost. And over time as well, we've seen a move away from organizations hosting their own proprietary versions of software to software companies developing SaaS based applications and those applications such as Salesforce, Adobe Creative Cloud, Cisco WebEx, uh, even VoIP or point of sale services, they transmit via the internet. And so this model has become somewhat antiquated in that it has this bottlenecking effect. Whereas if you work at a branch office and you need to access those applications or the internet in general for some other service, you have to transverse the network via the head office. And so even though you do have high link performance with the MPLS network, you get less than ideal SaaS application performance. And that poses the problem. It's very hard to maintain and scale and grow or even shrink this network if required. And on top of that as well, it can become increasingly hard to manage a monitor and it doesn't support the way businesses are working. They're now moving from the CapEx model of yesteryear through to an operational expenditure model, such as SaaS applications for risk mitigation. And so off the back of that, SD-WAN has come into existence. And what that effectively does is it logically moves the head office out of the way and it then gives you a connection directly to the internet by load balancing over two broadband connections. And the reason SD-WAN works in such a, a great and, and way that so many businesses are seeing success with is that by load balancing over those two connections, you can approach MPLS type performance without needing the expensive investment in an MPLS network. And so as you can see here, you now get a lot more flexibility. You can add a branch office by having nothing more than say two broadband connections. You can have far better and optimal SaaS application performance. Very easy to cost and cost effective to manage, monitor and scale. If you wanna add remote workers, for example, you wanna add another branch office, or let's say you know there's something going on globally with the markets and you need to remove a branch office or a remote worker. Very, very straightforward to do so. And you haven't tied yourself in to a very long-term expensive MPLS connection. On top of that as well, we've now switched everything via the internet or routed via the internet, sorry. And the beauty of doing that is, again, we can add or remove a head office or scale down or scale up. And all the SaaS applications we access are going to be optimized because we're going directly to them. Now, the flip side of that, like all things, there's always a trade-off. And this now requires, because there's so much flexibility, you need an easy way to manage and monitor these SD-WAN networks. And you also need robust security because everything's being routed via the internet and that inherently is insecure. So you need a way to encrypt things, a way to monitor what's going on in the network, and really control that to make sure you aren't being compromised. And that's where Meraki comes in. So Meraki fundamentally solves for these business pain points. Network security, having next-gen firewall, unified threat management, sandboxing, intrusion prevention, all built in to Meraki's SD-WAN offering. That's absolutely what we're about. On top of that as well, we simplify the management and monitoring of complex networks, that true single pane of glass. There's no second or third application need with Meraki. It simply is one dashboard and that is it. If you're a lean IT team and you need that flexibility and scalability to add things like 
smart cameras, or maybe SD WAN's not for you right now, but you want to have that capacity two or three years down the track, Meraki can track that and help support that. And again, be that backbone that your network helps support the business operations you basically bring money in the door with. On top of that as well, if you need to be able to troubleshoot remotely, both fast with that lean IT team, but also effective, be able to see exactly what ports are plugged in, do things like cable testing with the actual devices on the network, check if both redundant power supplies are still working, have a warm spare configuration for high availability. Meraki can manage all that in the same dashboard. Saving time. Again, if you've got lots of dispersed sites, you've got quite a complex network need, you don't want to be spending all your time bogged down by having to physically go and attend a device to plug in a cable to actually diagnose. You want to be able to do that by the cloud, log in anywhere you've got internet access, check what's going on, reset something, monitor it, make sure it's back up and running. Again, saving you time and ultimately reducing that total cost of ownership. Meraki products are quality, high performance, long lasting solutions, and that's where we fit into the market. If you're not after that and you want something that isn't going to play for all these business pain points and really work for you, Meraki is probably not a good fit. But if you are a business who's making decisions based on the business needs and you want a solution that's going to be that robust backbone of your operations, Meraki is a great fit. This whole presentation as well, you can find a link to in the description. All these links as well, highlighted here in blue, work. So if you do want to check on those in your own time, feel free to click through to those. All right, so those pain points Meraki sells for, what do the products like that help support that? These are the eight core products. Now there are slightly more than these products, but these are the core ones. And again, all these links here are live. You can click through to those in your own time. Now, instead of memorizing these eight here and trying to just read basically a, a handful of summarizing words, let's actually build out an example network with Meraki. So we've got our SaaS applications on the left there. We've got our internet access, point of sale, VoIP, so on and so forth. The internet is a fundamental part of how business is conducted these days. And on the right hand side, we've got a Windows end user. So let's get them online. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll have an MX appliance. So that's a Meraki router, next gen firewall, unified threat management, software defined wide area networking, auto VPN and 4G failover, all bundled into one device. So we call them security appliances because they're far more than just a router. They're far more than just a next gen firewall. They bundle all that capacity into one device. Now you can also see here the Meraki dashboard has popped up. That is the core to the Meraki offering. Meraki never added the dashboard as an afterthought. We were always cloud first. There is no option to actually manage Meraki devices directly in most instances. It's designed to be completely cloud driven. And the reason we designed our networks like that is so we wanted the experience of users in the tech community to be seamless. We didn't want people to be bogged down with having to physically go to sites, plug in devices, we want them to be able to log in online, get something sorted, get it fixed. And with Meraki's licensing and support that comes with that, we can help troubleshoot your own networks as well remotely. So you get a lot more time savings there and a far more thorough and complete user experience. All right, so we're not quite online yet. Let's add another device, Meraki switching. So here we can see we've got Meraki switches, our MS series, multi-gigabit ethernet plus fiber, and virtual stacking. So that's that idea that you don't even need to physically stack two switches together if you do want to logically join them via say an SD-WAN network at two different sites to create VLANs and so on. So an incredible amount of flexibility that's provided with Meraki there. And again, all managed and monitored and configured via the Meraki dashboard. All right, so now we're going to add Meraki's MG wireless gateways. These give you a robust broadband connection via the 4G LTE network. And so now you can see here, we've got both a wired connection to that MX security appliance and a wireless connection by the MG wireless gateway. And they're those two broadband connections we can now load balance over. We could use two wired connections. We could use two wireless. We could use one wireless, one non-wired. We could use one commercial broadband, one commercial MPLS. It doesn't matter. As long as we have those two connections, we can load balance, which not only gives us more redundancy built in to our actual design by default, it gives us that MPLS type performance without necessarily requiring an MPLS link, which has an incredible amount of flexibility added to the network. It takes control of the network back from the ISP. And on top of that as well, it gives you that MPLS type performance without the cost. And so because of that, you get this incredible cost saving and a lot of the SD-WAN hardware that Meraki offers can effectively be recouped in cost through the savings you'll make compared to going with an MPLS network. 
beyond that, we'll add Meraki Insight. So Meraki Insight is a software that runs off the back of our MX appliances. It gives insights into applications and performance monitoring. So say for example, you do a lot of VoIP calling over your network. You really wanna make sure that quality of service is incredibly high because voice calls are quite critical to your business operations. Insight will give you the ability to really drill into those, have reports, see what the uptime is like and the availability of those links. It also helps you hold your ISP accountable. If you have notoriously uh, poor connections or connections, you're just not sure about how you know, the SLAs that are being uh, told to you are actually being uh, met, this will give you insights into if that is the case or not. And again, takes all the control with your network back and puts it in your hands. All right, so I'll add another end user here. We've got a Mac laptop, Meraki's MR series, indoor wireless access points. A very popular part of Meraki's offering, and again, all cloud managed. On top of that as well, we'll add some more users. So we've got an iOS device, we've also got an Android device here, and with our Meraki MR outdoor access points as well. So they're ruggedized for outdoor use. You see a lot of use cases with, say, schools, uh, with also a lot of industrial applications, say, warehousing, where they're, say, quite grimy or dusty, a great use case for our ruggedized outdoor access points. And that's both .ac and Wi-Fi 6 .ax as well. So a massive amount of applications there with that whole idea that you're moving away from the way uh, Wi-Fi technology has worked up to this point where .ac has all been about working much like a hub used to. And now it's that idea that Wi-Fi 6 works more like a switch. So you get an incredibly uh, high throughput, you get far more intelligent throughput, you get that ability to put multiple uh, devices communicating at the same time over multiple frequencies. And on top of that, you can even do more advanced things like scheduling check-ins with say IoT devices. So an incredible amount of power that's being now packed into Wi-Fi 6. And that is the way a lot of businesses are moving. On top of that as well, we'll add Systems Manager. So that's Meraki's mobile device management software. So great use cases of healthcare or bring your own device with educational institutions. If you need a way to manage and monitor those devices, say remotely erase them, if they had say some health data that's very sensitive on there, maybe some legal data, for example, a great lightweight way to install an MDM, manage it through the exact same dashboard you manage the rest of your network through and give you that control you so need. Finally, Meraki smart cameras. And we say they're smart cameras because they're far more than just security cameras. They're a fully digital, basically visual sensor on the network. And using our APIs, you can develop for not only the smart cameras, but our entire range of hardware. But with our cameras, for example, you can do far more than just security footage. You can search by motion, you can save just events in a timeline. And on top of that as well, you can even do things like number plate recognition or say social distancing by the APIs. Because again, they are just a digital sensor on the network and the information they're feeding back to the dashboard and that can be drawn out of the dashboard can all be accessed by those APIs and even our third party applications on the Meraki marketplace. So some incredible flexibility there. And again, this is basically a really simplified version of what you can do with the Meraki network. Now the beauty of Meraki is if you had one of these devices or you had all of them, Meraki's dashboard can still handle that. We can still identify third party uh, devices on the network. You just can't configure and monitor them like you could with Meraki. So in summary, that's pretty much Meraki as a whole. Now, a couple more things to be aware of. Meraki security, as I said at the start, this is a core tenement of how Meraki operates. And this is what's included with Meraki. So depending on the exact licensing level with say an MX appliance, dictates exactly what licensing you or what security features you get. And I'll touch on those in a moment. But again, all these links are live. If you want to check out Talos, that's uh, Cisco's privately owned private security firm. The data that's hashed globally there in real time and fed back into the Meraki and Cisco networks globally to identify and mitigate threats. Advanced malware protection that's included. Things like Threat Grid, which is a sandbox environment. So you can actually open, say, a malicious package that you're not sure about, identify if it is malicious or not, and basically destroy it if it is. Intrusion prevention with Snort and Cisco's offering there, and even things like DNS spoofing with Cisco Umbrella on top of Cisco IC, TrustSect, AnyConnect, and StealthWatch. So an incredible amount of power that's built into Meraki by virtue of being a Cisco offering. Again, all these links are live. If you do wanna visit them further or explore them further, please feel free to click through to those. This will be in the description of this video. All right. So with Meraki's hardware, there's a one-to-one -one ratio of hardware to licensing. And so basically when you do pick a Meraki device, you pick a licensing term, one, three, five, seven, or 10 years. 
all Meraki hardware has a license, and then that gives you Meraki dashboard access for configuration and monitoring of your devices, firmware and feature updates. So one way to think of that is the worst firmware you'll ever have on your device is the day it ships to you, and it only gets better over time, and you can even schedule those updates, for example. 24-7 phone and email support, and this is a massive one. Again, if you're a lean IT department, you don't know all the intricacies of your network, you've got a really obscure use case, you need technical support, it's included with your license. So that entire period of time with which you're licensed, you're covered by Meraki's offering there with our licensing covering full email and phone support. And then finally, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but you also would qualify for a free device replacement if a device was to fail. Failures of Meraki gear are very rare because we do offer a premium product and they are designed and built with quality materials and to last a long time. But let's say you had an access point, it had been licensed for 10 years and nine and a half years in, there was a hardware failure. You work with our uh, support team to troubleshoot. They determine that it is actually a, a failure of the device itself. We would ship a replacement device free of charge. So you're effectively insured whilst you're with Meraki as well. Some information there on how our license by default co-terminates. That just simplifies licensing, gives you one date on which all devices require renewal. Or if you wanted more control over per device, um, licensing, you could go to that per device licensing. And what that would do is, as the name suggests, give you each individual device its own individual license. And so you have a range of dates at which certain devices are due. Pros and cons to both, most people by default keep things simple with co-termination. Finally there, there's the Meraki SLA. And that's not the actual SLA of the devices. They're far beyond that. That is simply the SLA of our dashboard. And so an incredible amount of uptime there. And even if the dashboard was to go down, you couldn't access dashboard and see what's going on in the network, the network could still be switching and routing traffic. Now, the only second thing to bear in mind with our licenses is if you picked an MX security appliance, an MR wireless access point, or an MV smart camera, you would then have on top of the license term, say one, three, five, seven, or 10 years, you would pick a license type. So in this case, for our MX security appliance, most people will pick advanced security, which adds advanced mail protection, Talos, Snort, and Threat Grid. Or for example, with our MR access points, if you want to add Cisco Umbrella, you would opt for advanced wireless. Again, there is no other hidden licensing. It's simply that easy. Pick a term, pick a type, that's it. And that's it. So if you'd like to hit me up, there's my work email there. And also feel free to connect on LinkedIn. I'll also post a link to this entire presentation and feel free to share. Thanks.